judges had it very close. What did you think? I knew they were going to do something kind of chisty. It took a long time for them to come up with the scorecards. They were trying to figure it out. And um, I told everybody, I was like, listen, man, y'all better not steal it. Ain't no fucking way you can steal it. <laughs> huh? Retirement, man. I'm kind of tired. Nah, I'm not getting paid enough. A million dollars? Get the fuck out of here. That's fucking bullshit. Yo, ho, YouTube. What's going on, man? It's your boy Chris from BWC, and you're now boxing with Chris. Back at y'all with another What's Next. Today, What's Next, we'll be talking about Teofimo Lopez. And after a dominating showing this past Saturday at the Hulu Theater, Teofimo Lopez moves to 19-1 and with 13 wins, coming by way of knockout. He is now a two-division world champ, a two-lineal world champ. And man, oh man, he's building hell of a resume at 25 years old beating two of the best guys that were in the division at the time and discussing what's next for teofimo he's in an interesting situation for starters to make it clear i don't believe the lies that he's retiring i don't believe it i don't believe him he needs more people i believe it when i see it for right now he's having some contract issues with top rank he has stated that he was paid about 1.6 1.7 million for his josh taylor fight and he is having some personal issues i really like, don't like to discuss discuss personal issues but this plays a part of this so discussing his divorce he is set to you know take some financial losses so 1.7 after taxes after these fees and then after you know his divorce issues that he is having he is not bringing home the money that he should be he feels and top rank is shortchanging him which i also feel that they are shortchanging him so what i think tail Fimo should do next believe it or not with a resume like that he could cherry pick a next fight or he could take the free agent route think about it he signs a three fight deal with pbc hypothetically speaking he has gary antoine russell at 140 he could unify with roley unify with matias if he goes to match room in the zone he's got regis progress he's got montana love ryan garcia if somehow he stays with top rank, he has Jose Ramirez, Barboza, and maybe even a Josh Taylor rematch, depending if everything goes right. But these are the options that he has, very good options. Like I said, I really don't believe the hype of the retirement. I know he seems pretty serious, but I don't think a guy like him at 25 years old with a great resume, he has a lot of great resume, think about it. Put him in comparison with Ryan Garcia. You put him in comparison with even Javante Davis. Guys, yes, they're biggest stars in him, but look at the resume. In under 20 fights, the dude has beat two pound for pound stars, a former undisputed champion and a former unified champion of the world. That's all you need to know. And man, oh man, he's got a great resume, man. If you really think about it, out of these young guys, the only guy that has a similar resume to Telfimo Lopez is maybe Shakur Stevenson, somewhere around that realm, because they're both two weight champions, you know. But Shakur was never the full unified champion. He's unified, but he didn't have the majority of the belts like Teofimo. He didn't beat the guy. That was Lobachenko at 130. So it's a lot of questions, but let it be known that tail Fimo has a lot of options and what's next should be interesting for him let's see if he just finishes out his contract his, he doesn't have a fight contract with his own he has a yearly contract so his contract is up at the end of this year so we should see what's next for the takeover let's see where he goes to take over next let me know who you guys think he should step in the squared circle with next in the comment section below once again it's your boy chris thank you for joining me on boxing with chris today make sure you hit that like button that subscribe button you know what to do keep it eight more than 92 and i'm gonna be back at y'all soon peace thank you like him i don't fucking like him <laughs> bro and i already told my son to fucking kick his, kick his ass, ass.